how to write surlet how to write a surlet class to write a surlet there are three surlet implementations okay there are three surlet implementations one we have surlet interface we have one surlet interface and we have one generic surlet the generic surlet is the surlet child class there is one generic surlet there is one generic surlet class it's a abstract class and there is one more class http surlet it's a fully concrete class but it is abstract there is no method to implement there is no abstract method but this class is abstract class only is it mandatory abstract class need to have any abstract methods as per java rules not mandatory right if you have any abstract method then class must need to be abstract but if a class if it is abstract it no need to have any abstract methods right so your http surlet also abstract class but it don't have any abstract methods but generic surlet it have abstract methods and interface all methods are abstract methods only. okay so what are the surlet class you require to write here that surlet class you can implement by using surlet interface or else you can extend it by using generic surlet class or else you can extend it by using http surlet class it's your choice you can use surlet interface or generic surlet class or http surlet class using any one of this class must you need to extend your surlet class your surlet class compulsory you need to extend or you need to implement by using these three classes either by using this one or this one or this one this class need to be implemented why it need to implement by using these classes at the time of creating object of your surlet class tomcat container will do what this container will check whether this class is instance of surlet or not it will check if it is instance of surlet then only it will allow that classes to place here okay or else it will not allow that classes okay if you want to put a class here and if you want to execute that class for your url that class compulsory you should extend from surlet api then only your tomcat container will allow that class okay so you can implement your class by using surlet api the surlet interface or generic surlet class or http surlet classes okay using any one of this class you can implement your surlet so if it is a surlet interface how many methods are there in this interface if it is a generic surlet how many abstract methods are there if it is a http surlet method if it is a http surlet class which method we need to override you need to know all this here so if it is a surlet interface there are five methods you need to implement there are five methods you need to implement if it is a surlet interface okay first i'll go through surlet interface just to write a simple surlet class just i'll go through surlet interface in this surlet interface there are five abstract methods means that five methods you need to implement compulsory those methods are what one method is init and the return type is void and the input parameter is the default init method is what simple init simple init method with the return type <coughs> void and there is one more method service with input parameters surlet request comma surlet response and this one also returns void and there is one more method destroy method return type is void and there are two more methods get surlet info get surlet info and the return type is string then one more method get surlet config 
and the return type is surlet config these are the methods we have in this servlet interface there is one init method service method destroy method get servlet info get servlet config whenever you need to implement a servlet here if that servlet if you are going to implement by using servlet interface <coughs> how many methods compulsory you need to override all these five methods why because all these methods are abstract methods so that compulsory you need to implement all these methods because it is interface but if you go through http servlet or generic servlet if you want to implement your class by using generic servlet inside generic servlet we have only one single abstract method generic servlet this generic servlet class is a child class for the servlet interface using the servlet interface only they implemented this generic servlet okay generic servlet is a child class for your servlet interface so in that generic servlet actually they implemented init method destroy method get servlet info method get servlet config method and they leave they left only service method so that service method only you must need to implement only only the service method you need to implement when it comes to generic servlet so in generic servlet there is only one single abstract method we have that method is service and the input parameters are servlet request servlet response only this method you need to implement but when it comes to http servlet when it comes to http servlet in http servlet we don't have any method to implement all the methods are concrete methods means all that they implemented and given to us and recommended methods to override they given implementations already they given implementations and they are suggesting us to override some methods if you are submitting your form data and if your form method is get method actually there are multiple http methods get post put delete okay there are multiple methods so to execute for that methods actually http browsers will support only get and post only get and post only will support okay so here they are recommending us to override do get or do post they are recommending us to override do get or do post here inside do get the input parameters are http servlet request and http servlet response same inputs <coughs> instead of overriding service method they are recommending as what override do get or do post when we have to go through do get when we have to go to do post it depends on your form methods inside form by default method is get method so that if you have default to get method you can go through do get but if it is a get method how much data we can send through the protocol only limit some 256 characters data only we can able to forward but if it is post unlimited unlimited data we can forward to our method okay so in case if you want to go through servlet interface you need to implement all these five methods if you want to go through generic servlet you must need to override this method if you want to go through http servlet not mandatory to implement any method but without having any implementation why we require servlet so that it is recommended to override do get or do post here okay yeah first i'll go through servlet interface <coughs> using servlet interface if you want to implement your classes using servlet interface if you want to implement your classes if you want to implement your classes by using servlet interface simple requirement is just i want to say hello to say hello if you want to make a application so first we need to follow one directory structure right so you need to put one name for your application so for my application i want to put one name hello world 
my application name is hello world inside that hello world application folder we know the direct structure what we need to follow right inside this hello world folder you need to create one your input page here something hello.html i have one form hello.html we know right how to design these forms you need to design html form you need to design like this <coughs> form html need to have some dom elements here right the main root tag is what html and the two main important child tags are head done head then body inside body you need to create your form form we need to create by using form and <coughs> form tag for this form you need to keep a action put a action here something dot slash simple hello this is not your page name it is your action name okay it is action dot hello is action and along with this action you can keep here method also by default it is get you can make it post also here okay and here your form content i want to submit a simple name so the name input type equal to text and the attribute name name and the name parameter is use any unique names here p1 parameter name and to submit this form data you required one submit button input type type equal to submit and the value simple hello this is my form okay when i submit this form it will generate which action slash hello action it will generate right so for that hello action you need to write one surlet now where we need to write that surlet we need to have a web inf inside web inf you need to write a classes folder here inside classes folder you need to write your surlet here let's say uh, just i want to write one hello surlet hello surlet dot java you need to compile it okay once after writing your hello surlet you need to compile it how to write the surlet class if you are going to implement the surlet interface if you are going to implement your surlet interface there are five methods right this five methods compulsory we need to implement now write hello surlet public class hello surlet implements surlet interface and compulsory you should override all the methods right so the first method is public void init just keep this brackets it means implementation right so first method implemented then second method public void service in this service method input surlet request comma surlet response and by default always it will throws servlet exception actual implementation need to be done here okay and the remaining methods are public void destroy and public string get surlet info actually we need to return string type right here 
just I don't want written anything. So you just keep written null. And write one more method public surlet config get surlet config. Here also written null. Okay, finally this method implemented, this method implemented, this one, this one, and this one also implemented. So inside this method, what you need to do whenever I submit this form data here. I'm entering some text here, right? So whatever the text I'm giving here, the text I need to read by using this parameter. How I can read that data here? Using this request object, you can read that data here. Request dot, there is one method, get parameter of P1. Request dot get parameter of P1. By using this P1, if you try to read, it will give your name. Whatever the name you are entering there, that name it will give here. Who will pass actually this request object to us, to the surlet method? Your surlet container, right. When you submit this data, this data it will send in the form of HTTP protocol to your container. Container will convert into surlet request object. That request object it will pass to your service method. Then using that service method, what we are trying to reading? We are trying to reading some parameter P1. Once after getting this parameter P1, I want to send output to the user something simple hello user 